Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to do a YouTube video um, to give information about the Peloton bike. Um, as you've seen, or take a look at my other videos, like 98% I would say of my videos are of me working out on my Peloton or some form or variation of working out with the app. Um, <clears throat> I have the original, um, Peloton bike that I got s September of 2020 at like the end of the month. Um, of course there's been days that I've missed and whatnot. I had COVID. We are in, it's today is January 19th, 2021. And... I was even working out while I, in the beginning part of having COVID this year. Um, but for about three days, I couldn't work out at all, but I did do meditations, which is, I think, accounts for something, especially being so sick. Um, but I just wanted to let people know that it is worth every chance of having it because when I initially got it, I was told that I was wasting money on it because I was never go going to use it, especially for my parents. Now, I use it, pretty, like I said, every day. There are days that I have missed, will not lie. Um, so the reason why I decided to, what is that? To get the Peloton bike was, of course, to keep in shape lose weight and just to be able to keep moving and doing something every day whether it's a 20 minute ride on my bike with my boo Cody Rigsby he's my he's my number one favorite instructor and then Jen Sherman um and then it's whatever after that um but I, lo I literally just lost track of what I was saying ah. um anyway so yeah I was trying to keep in shape keep moving something every day 10 minutes whether it's on the bike or outdoors um doing an outdoor walk run I'm not a runner but I try once in a blue moon um the hardest thing for me is doing the strength and the cardio um strength I'm okay with um I'm getting used to it cardio sucks and kicks my ass even the ones for the family the family fit fun fit ones um kick my ass even though you can do it with your children <sighs> kick my ass i tried it today this morning for the first time um i love the new stacks feature where you can cut you can go from one to the other by hitting continue stack um took me a little while to figure out but you can go from one to the other that day of the work essay I want to do that day. But going back to why I got my Peloton, I had bariatric surgery. Sorry, this sounds like right in my face. I had bariatric sleeve surgery June 6th, 2020. It was initially supposed, I think it was initially supposed to be in April, the beginning of April, but because the pandemic was just announced in March. It got rescheduled to May, but they couldn't really give me a date except for the fact that it would be in May. And then when May came, I had a call on a certain day to follow up with my surgeon, like the office, the surgical coordinator. And she's like, we're going to have to hold off for another month. So if you don't hear about from us by a certain date, just call us. So I had to like, we were like basically playing phone tag and I finally got a date of June 16th, 2020. It was great. Everything went well. Could not wait to get the, um, bandages off my scars, off the incisions. Cause I had it done laparoscopically. It was so itchy. That was literally the worst part that and burp, trying to get all the gas out and burp to horrific things for me. <laughs> Um, but since then, and then I had it in June, started losing weight and obviously we couldn't go to the gyms or anything. And I was scared to go to the, my gym at the time, which was Planet Fitness, which was great. 
I loved going there. I loved the fact that I can do like back, like the chair massages and everything. Um, but I was just scared to go to the gym after the fact, just because of COVID and everything and just having surgery. I didn't want to risk getting sick. So for the second time with COVID, because the first time I had COVID was in February of 2020. And they didn't have tests or anything, but I, ended, but I did get the antibodies test and I had the antibodies for it. And long story short, they told me I had COVID. Um, it's like a little alfalfa piece of hair sticking up here. Sorry. Let's see, look, I got an alfalfa. Um, and with that being said, I want to do more than just walk around my town or up and down stairs and just doing kind of, I guess you could say basic workouts. So I ripped the bandaid off, I guess you can say, and dropped all that money on a Peloton bike. So I didn't have to, you know, go through everything. And I'm really glad I got it. It came really fast. I know there's people out there that are having issues trying to get the new Peloton that has like the swivel screen. I guess it's the bike plus. Um, because so many people are ordering it, especially with the fact that people are basically stuck at home. I also recently joined a new gym, uh, the YMCA by where I live here in Jersey. And I love the fact it's, I'm still trying to figure it out how they have everything set up because you have to reserve a time slot for whatever you want to do at the gym, whether it's the fitness center or swim or some kind of class because you can only have so many people there in that building at one time, including the people that work there. Um, but lately I've been doing a lot of the treadmill workouts um, that Peloton has to offer um, on the treadmill. So I'm trying to figure out who I like in terms of being on the treadmill. I did Jessie King this morning. Um, I'm going to stick with her on the bike. Uh, just because she's more fun. She's such a fun person and have such a good personality. And so bubbly. I feel like she was like a cheerleader at some point. But I feel like she talks way more while being on the treadmill than she does on the bike. I overall am obsessed with being on that Peloton bike. Even if it's for 15 minutes, I'm moving. I'm doing something. I am not sitting on the couch being la a lazy ass. I am doing something. And it helps me out with my mental state because I do have mental health, il mental illness. Um, if you want to be nosy, I have anxiety, which a lot of people have, like severe um, depression and borderline personality disorder. So disclaimer, that's what I have. So by working out and having the habit of doing something, trying to do something every single day and keep the streak, my streak going for 2021, it helps me so much to get out of my head, especially when I'm like really kind of going crazy and having like kind of a fit, I guess you can say, but it's great. I love it. If you're thinking about getting a Peloton, just do it. Rip the bandit off, spend that money, that $2,000 or whatever it is. Um, whether you get the bike or bike plus, do it. Just look, compare the two. Um, do your homework, research on them. And um, I just know there's a longer wait for the bike plus because it's so new. Um, it has like, you can swivel the screen to the cell all the way, like 180 degrees basically. So this way you can what, do other workouts like cardio, strength, yoga, dance class. I think they have a dance card. Yeah, there's so many classes that you can do. Like they just had started Pilates. Great. Um, I did Pilates twice. I like it. Definitely challenging. It's kind of like yoga. Um, but like I said, I had bariatric surgery and it keeps me motivated to do something every day, whether it's a live class, encore class or a pre-recorded class. Um, since my surgery, it's been a little, it's been about seven months because today's June, January 19th. Um, I have lost about 70 pounds and, and I'm saying that because I've had, I had COVID. I just got over it. I'm in the clear to go out and do stuff. Thank God. 
um that it was a set this past this january was the second time i had it um which kind of it was it sucked but it wasn't as bad as the first time um still trying to get my lungs not to be so exhausted but i i honestly my overall experience with having a peloton I think is keeping me in check with my weight loss journey, even though I gained two pounds since feeling better. Um, I overall just am obsessed with my Peloton bike. The Peloton community is amazing, especially being on all these Facebook groups and people basically cheering you on, um, getting other people to join you, giving, honestly, I am addicted to giving people high fives and I love getting, getting them back. Sometimes I won't give people high fives just because I'm that dead in a workout um again my fa two top favorite uh instructors is cody rigsby just because if i'm he's just so fun to ride, ride with and his dance moves are on fleek man um and especially if i'm extremely pissed off and angry for whatever reason or sad he just puts me in such a great mood especially the playlists he has I love that music. It's great. Um, even if I hate the music that he has, it's just still, he's just, his attitude is amazing. Um, Jen Sherman, I love her classes. I like doing her hour long classes, even though I'm like dead, like 10 minutes in the class. I like her hour classes because they make me sweat. They make me work. I ha even though I have trouble keeping up with the cadence a lot of times, I am moving. Um, I'm getting used to keeping up with the cadence. Um, in the saddle now still can't do it out of the saddle but i prefer to be out of the saddle at a higher resistance that's just me though i know everyone's different but that's what i like um hopefully i can do another one of these uh videos this was just a broad uh video of my experience with peloton and having the bike thought all the different exercises um, if I have trouble with something, I just reach out to one of the Facebook groups and if they can't really help me or I'm not understanding or multiple different answers, I will go to reach out via live chat or an email through the website. Um, and it's great. It's very helpful. They get back to you at, no matter where you reach out to. People are always helpful. So I hope this helps other people. Oh, and the reason why I have so many video workout videos, the main reason why I decided to do, um, I'll make this last statement and then I'll end the video. But the main reason why I have done a lot of workout videos is basically, um, an accountability for myself to keep me motivated, to keep going, to see my progress and seeing the videos of my weight loss journey through workout videos is by far amazing. I do have pictures that I have that I do occasionally post but just seeing the videos it's just amazing just to see whether it's a time-lapse video or not just the attitude by the which I carry my body on the bike is such a difference um thank you for everybody watching this video I know it was a long video but thank you so much